with the lead in verse 10 which stated, 2 Timothy 1 verse 10, KJV, but is now made manifest by the appearing of our Savior Jesus Christ, who hath abolished death, and hath brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. Of this gospel, Paul states, whereunto I am appointed a preacher, and an apostle, and a teacher of the Gentiles. For the which, cause I also suffer these things, nevertheless, I am not ashamed, for I know whom I have believed, and am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. 2 Timothy 1 verses 11 to 12 KJV. Let's break this down. Verse 11, Paul points out, as he does so often regarding his gospel, Romans 16 verse 25, that he is the appointed preacher, apostle, and teacher of the Gentiles in this regard. And when one realizes that there is no longer Jew or Gentile, male or female, bond or free, Galatians 3 verse 28, then we see Paul as the apostle of the gospel of grace to all. Verse 12a is a result of his special apostleship to all Paul suffers. These things, though not mentioned here, Paul frequently enumerates the suffering he has gone through as the apostle of grace and notes that those who represent the gospel of grace may see similar. Verse 12b Despite his suffering for the gospel of grace, Paul is not ashamed, and he has already bid us not be ashamed either. Why? Because he, and we, know whom we have believed. Jesus Christ the Son of God, who gave his life a ransom for all. Verse 12c And not only does he know whom he has believed, but he is also persuaded as regards whom he has believed. And he is persuaded that the one whom he has believed, Jesus Christ the Lord, I is able to keep that belief committed to him, belief of the gospel of his death for our sins, burial and resurrection according to scripture against that day. And that day is the day for the revelation of the mystery. When the church which is his body shall meet him in the air. And so ever be with him. Believer, know whom you have believed. It's a game changer.